It's Mac and me. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's Mac and Hamish. And today we're tying flies. So right here I've got on the very edge of my pliers, I've got this little hook. I'm holding with the pliers so it doesn't smudge in my finger. And with this, I'm gonna be tying a mosquito fly. And Okay, you go first. I got my black thread with a bobbin. This I'm gonna be used to tie a mosquito fly. I got this at Oscars and Smithers. This is my, I don't got much of it left. This is my glittery stuff. I'm using it to tie a leech fly. I got my snippers and um, I got marabou. It's a kind of feather. It's a black feather. I'll just show you some We're of it. We're tying leech flies. It's a black feather for tying leech flies. And I have, I got grizzly hackle too. Yeah. It's for tying a mosquito fly. And I have a bobbin. I'm tying trout flies. I have a bobbin, I'm tying salmon flies. It's, I got it at Oscars. Well, I actually know I got it off line. Normally we get stuff from Oscars, but this was line. And um, I just got this from my grandma. She lives a while away, so I don't know where she got it. And I have got these pliers. I got them from online. They are nice pliers. It comes with a lot of other things. And I have a nice salmon hook. It's actually quite large. And that's what we're going to be using to tie a fly. I've got this pink fluff. That pink fluff and the stuff he has isn't actually, that's not, that stuff isn't from the store. It's from my felting kit. Which was bought from the store. But then I kind of got, didn't like felting as much anymore. And then we got into flying ties. And so is this. This is blue. Tying flies. So then we used it for tying flies. And I've got two of those hooks. Here's another one here. So for hooks, for my small fly, I've got size 12 hook for tying a mosquito fly because mosquitoes are small. You can use bigger hooks, but he just chooses to use those. He likes those size. And then this bigger hook is used for leeches because leeches are bigger. So first, I'm gonna show you how to tie the leech fly. But we both have these. We got them both online. Oh, wait, no. Where'd you get yours? Um. Mine was from McBike. And to put them on the table, you see this here, you just twist it. You put it on the table and just twist it out. Got the hook. Put it in here. Put it in the clamp. Pull this up. Pull it. Oh, you can't see that yet. And tighten it. So then you got your hook in there. It's a bit wiggly. It's got to tighten it good. Take your thread. Start at the eye, and then you go about halfway down this. Before when it stops, you go about halfway down. Again, and you stop. Snippers, cut the end off. Tighten around there, and you go around and around. There. You got about halfway there. So you can tell it's halfway. Okay, so now. You get your grizzly hackle, be your name. You tie it around the end, then... Look. You know, look what I did. I made metal Velcro. You want to put it at the end. Okay, then you start wrapping it around. So it gets its mosquito look. And this is not really a floating fly. You can use it for fly fishing. We prefer trolling. And technically this is, 
I like to put the little tail at the end. Just give it something more to look like. Make it look like a nice looking bug. Snip it off and then it looks more like a real mosquito. Keep this on. I like to keep it on. Give it a cool look. Give it something to. So if you were to snip it off, you just go at the end and cut it, but I keep it on. Oh, I just figured out what I was going to build. Okay, then you pull it out. Bunch of string. You cut it off. There is an actual tool. Hey, I'm going to have to wear my finisher. There is an actual tool for this. Uh, it's kind of a difficult one. You'd have to watch like some. We don't actually know how to use it. It's called a whip finisher. We don't know how to use it. It's more if you have big hands. It's uh, harder to tie a knot with. So, no special knot. You just tie it where it doesn't pull any feathers down. You do like three or four of these. Where'd my snipper go oh, there? Cut, cut it, unclamp, voila. You got a barbless hook. You got a, you got a barbless mosquito. Mine's, it's a size 12, but as you can see the tail Gives it a little something to look at. Make it fish think it. I'd love to test it for you, but it's the middle, it's December. So no testing it here. In the summer when we do fishing videos, we can test it. Till then, you just tie them and stock them up. Now we're moving on to the leech fly. I don't know what size this hook is. It's bigger because leeches are bigger than mosquitoes. So, um, it's a red J hook. Put it on. Got my marabou. For this, I'm using this. It's different, it's thicker. Um, actually, I've got enough left. I'm gonna use the black fly, same as the mosquito. Okay, so same deal. Wrap, wrap it around and around and around. About halfway. Snip it off. And you go back around and around and around and around. <sighs> okay. Now that I've got that all done, how big do I want my leech? So I want my leech to be this long. The f so I'll cut it about. You want it. To be the size of there. your normal leech. There. And this will smooth out. And the water gets wet and thin. It looks like a leech. So in our pond, we have a whole pile of these things, of leeches. For a while, we never went swimming in that pond because we were terrified of it. Then, what we went fishing with our grandpa, and he told us that leeches make good bait. So, can you guess what we did? We went swimming I, in our pond. I we, went wading in our pond and would uh, catch them with my bare hands. I did too. Now, you caught them with a stick. The next day, I caught them with my bare hands. Yes. So did I. We would catch tons of them. But we didn't end up using them because they died because we didn't go fishing soon enough. Yeah, because it got delayed and then... Yeah, 
So then you've got this strip that'll thin out, look like a leech. There's another kind of leech you can do. Hey, Mrs. go get your blood leech. There's one called a blood leech fly. That one's different. Um, it's a lot different. It's small. It's still got the blackness, but my brother's going to get his. He'll show you. So this fly, my brother actually on this lake, he was using his blood leech fly and he caught a massive trout. 1.79, one pound and seven ounces. It was crazy. And our dad said it was the healthiest trout he'd seen in a long time. So but that was at a lake called the Irrigation Lake. And I'd been fishing at a lake called Lou Lake and I was using flies too. They weren't as nice because they were about to spawn. Um, but they were still pretty big. And I caught like six of them. And all in all, it was eight pounds of trout. So in a bit, we could show you the trout that my brother caught. It was a real nice one. There you have it. Leechy fly. Again, can't test it. Because it's the middle of winter. Ha ha. So this one will just be saved for winter. There are lots of other flies that we could tie, but we're not really as good as the, at them. The leech fly and the mosquito fly are the best ones. We have a couple salmon flies, but they're like nothing fancy. My brother's going to show you how to tie them. And uh, we only got into fly tying a couple years ago. And then we got a whole bunch of the good stuff this summer. Then get your rod. No. Okay. Now my brother's gonna show you how to tie salmon flies. I couldn't find the blood leech fly because it's on my rod. Okay. Here's the leech fly I was telling you about. Blood leech. That's the blood leech. It's just got red, red and black marabou. It works really good. My dad made it. He just made it up. Okay. Ham's teaching her how to make a sound fly. Okay. So I've just got my hook and on oh, my nice. axe ah, right. Sorry, just some minor difficulties. And here I got my vice my bobbin. I'm gonna be using this pink fluff to make a pink salmon fly. It's a basic fly. I'm just gonna wrap this around. And around. And around. And a lot more around. Gotta make sure you really do it. Since I only had a bit of string, I can just tie that along with it. It doesn't matter because the fluff's gonna cover it up. Just keep going around. Yeah, it takes a while. But, like I said, after this it's gonna not take long at all. It's an easy fly. Okay, now we're at the point where we grab our fluff, grab the shears, and then just you want about this much. This fly is really good for catching cohos and pinks. That's all I use it for. We, I caught 20 in an, in an hour here this year, last year, we're using this. It's a good fly. So. So you just wrap it around. Just wrap your thread around again. Wrap it around in here. And then roll this a bit to make it, to cover up the string. Then just roll again, 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 again. And again. Now, you wanna keep this here. You wanna keep this here because that makes it look 
because that's a better fly. It's not supposed to look like anything because fish don't eat in the river. They just swim out, but they'll bite things. That's what hap That's what how it works in our river because that. Yeah, and now this is like I said, it's an easy fly. Now I just take a bit of line, grab the line here, and then. Grab. I'll grab it in a sec. Just tie a normal knot around here. Because that didn't leave too much string. Just a normal knot. So now that our knot's tied, we're gonna clip off this extra string. Unloosen the clamp. And there, and here you have it. That's one good salmon fly. Okay, now we're gonna be doing something similar. Like normal, the sand fly, just grab this a hook. It's a black hook. It can be silver, that, but this is just what I use. And now I, I'm gonna get some blue fluff. I've caught a couple pinks with this. It's not as good as the pink one. I'd suggest using this more, but this works okay too. And I'm gonna grab about the same amount. Uh, it's a bit less, but it'll be okay. Now, ah, forgot. Sometimes I do that. Just do the same thing. You want it to just go around, around and round 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 and round. And round 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 and a lot more rounds. You just wanna get it going quick. If you hear that in the background, it's our washing machine. It makes a lot of noise. Okay, now we are good. See how it works it's nice and now let's grab that Hi. stuff we cut off earlier and just wrap it a cup around some more and now look now <laughs> that's our dog And now, as I said earlier, clip. Then just tie another normal knot. You can do it with any color, but I find these ones work better. And there you have it, our blue salmon fly. Now, that is the end of this video.